what's up Zach King here with a motion for tutorial and I'm gonna be showing you how to do some real 3d text I've seen a few tutorials like this on the web but I've got a couple of variations of my own here and what I want to do is show you how to do this effect basically what it is is we've got the text and a replicator and we've got 3d text like this so let me show you how to do this this is not using any plugins you know I'm a college student so I can't afford all the plugins out there and I'm sure a lot of you can't either but this is how to do it in motion though the plugins are sometimes easier let's start from the beginning so to do the effect you gotta add a camera and I've already done that it'll prompt you to turn your project into 3D go ahead and say yes then we're gonna create some text I'm gonna say Final Cut King I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the size here move it down to the center and now I'm just gonna begin by adding a replicator so there we go replicate it looks like a total mess but over here in the inspector in your replicator tab you need to check the 3d option right here so check this and now we're gonna go and hit down box under the shape and it looks even like a bigger mess now but you know don't worry now open the size tab and you're gonna see width height and depth we're gonna change the depth to 32 so I'm gonna type in 32 depending on your text this is going to change you can fine tune it yourself this is the numbers I've come up with I'm gonna to go to columns one rows one and then I'm gonna move the ranks up to 20 so there we go it looks like normal text but when you actually start scaling it here you can use the button which is the adjust 3d transform and you can use your rotation and you're gonna see that it's 3d well it's actually hard to see right now because it's all white text so I'm gonna mix it up here to make the effect better, I add a gradient or just a solid color. So you have to select the text here to actually edit the text styles. And so we're going to go fill, gradient, check down here and go to grayscale. I'm going to adjust the grayscale a little bit. We're going to check the well color. Let's make it just a gray. So we got that white to gray look. And one last final touch I like to do is add an outline. Now it automatically pops there. I'm going to change the color to more of a gray, but it's also project properties. I'm going to change the back color to a like a white, just so we can see here what's going on. And now I want to change the gradient darker. Nice. And then the outline, I want to change that to like kind of a black. Okay, so here we go. Now if I go ahead and start moving this around, the replicator that is, you're going to see the 3D areas of the text. And really what you can see if you're looking closely here, and I zoom in with a camera, you're really seeing the replicator just makes a lot of levels and we spread them out. So it's a lot of flat 2D text stacked together, but you have a neat effect here. See, we could go around and this is 3D text, still an illusion, but it's using Motion 4 to make 3D text like this. So we can animate something. So you can play around with the animation here and just see that you have 3D text. And you can go ahead and animate this however you want. That's pretty cool looking and you can do a lot of neat stuff with that. So that's true 3D text in Motion 4. I'm Zach King. Check out my Facebook page. I got some brand new training out for Final Cut Pro 7, so check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video.